Hey guys, what's happening? Laser coming at you from the apartment. Uh, just wanted to say that, you know, sorry I hadn't been able to do any recent food for thoughts or even some, uh, uh, you know, up to date pictures and videos and everything of what's been going on with us. Just wanted to say, though, that this pretty much is going to explain a little bit of it. We are doing still very good. We have um, Morin and Magnus living with us. So things are a little hectic here and there, but you know, what can you do? Um, just recently, I had my 30th birthday on July 31st. So yeah, I am now old, but you know, not that old. I uh, wanted to go ahead and show you what I got for my birthday from not only my friends, but also from um, that I got myself. Uh, pretty much we got paid on the 1st of August, so I treated myself to a little bit of good stuff that, uh, you know, I think I really deserved. So, let's go ahead and check it out and see what I got. Alright. Now, uh, Grandy, we're in our, up in our bedroom. The first gift I had gotten was uh, from my friend Klamiku. And sorry the room's a mess, but, uh, you know, what do you want with a whole bunch of video game systems and everything? Anyway, my first commission uh, that I got from Kumiku of my pony character, uh, pretty much next to a smiling little Venus flytrap. I think it's actually really cute because it caters to the story that I made with it, and um, I really like it. Okay. Uh, I want to say thank you to my mother <laughs> for sending me one of these, uh, apparently Get a Life shirts or something like that. Um, I had gotten one of a, uh, well, a big tiger and everything like that. Uh, the material kind of feels like Under Armour. You could get this at Walmart along with a bunch of other shirts. Uh, they got, like, one with cheeseburgers, fries, and hot dogs on it. You got one with a wolf bane at the moon. And then you got, like, um, you know, a, bu a bunch of different other ones. You know, you have to go to Walmart and check it out. But the one thing that actually got to me was the whole deal that it's a 2X. Now, having to have worked up here for a while, I've noticed one thing. I've been losing a lot of weight. And thank you, Mom, but also I gotten one like month like a month ago or like a month and a half ago and this one's only a single x so i'm not your big ass son anymore i am losing a lot of weight from having to walk to work every day i'm not wasting money on gas you know i'm like everybody else so yeah uh when we went we went to madison and we hit up the mall that they had there and um well what they had was a couple of really cool shirts. And I picked myself up two of them from the Hot Topic that was in the mall. Now, the interesting thing about this is, um, well, it's self-explanatory. I pretty much got myself a couple uh, We Love Fine shirts. So, yeah. They had them there. They were on sale. So I figured, hell, get them. You know, granted they had a Doctor Who's there, but these two are my all-time favorite, I think. You got the Fluttershy, yay. Yay. And, of course, my favorite. <laughs> Derpy is best pony. Which is damn true. She's adorable. She's got bags on her head. Also, I used my money, and after a long-ass time, I went to HatchetGear.com to get myself a little something from Psychopathic Records, and I got myself their brand new, well, I don't know if it's brand new, but uh, pretty much it was brand new when I bought it, <laughs> uh, the, the Jekyll Brothers shirt. So this is a, a take on their original Jekyll Brothers uh, picture of them with their uh, long-ass claws and their fingernails and looking demonic as hell, and that's the front of the shirt, so I thought this was pretty badass. Now, on the back of the shirt, of course, it has the trademark Jekyll Brothers, Jekyll Brothers. <laughs> so, you know, it's them out of their candle and everything like that. So I had gotten that 
So, I really like this shirt. I mean, this is pretty badass. And sooner down the road, I'm gonna get myself like one of those, um, one of those uh, psychopathic records, like you know, boxers that they got. They look pretty fucking nice. But the bad part is, is that they sold out right when I was ready to buy them. And the other thing I'm gonna get is a football jersey that is of the Jekyll Brothers. Now you're asking why the hell the Jekyll Brothers? Well, I joined uh, the Juggalo fandom back when the Jekyll Brothers came out. So, uh, God, it's been it's been so long. I pretty much still listen to uh, ICP and everything like that. And you know, I enjoy it. I don't care what anybody else says. And I don't care if you actually notice that the Juggalo likes ponies. So f fuck off. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, the other thing that I had gotten while in Madison was I was getting tired of coming home, not relaxing, and having anything, you know, to do besides, you know, sit on the freaking computer all day. So what did I do? I went to a place called Smokes on State, and Smokes on State down in downtown Madison, and it's a very interesting block. They got a lot of really cool stuff. But this place, I had gotten myself a brand new hookah. Now, before, I had the little mini hookah. And I really loved it. It was cool. It was the apple one. But the uh, thing with it is that the apple one had rusted over time. And I needed, and I needed something new. So... This one, uh, pretty much, is a very, very cool hookah. It's a two-hose, uh, two-hose hookah, and, you know, got the big glass base. Thing stands about, like, maybe, uh, well, the base part at least stands about eight inches tall. Uh, actually, I want to say about, uh, nine or ten inches for the base. Of course, I got my... Two ho two hooses. Two hoses that go with it. And you know, I got my solid solid steel shaft here. You know, this thing is actually I loved it when I first saw it. And I still do love it. I mean it's pretty damn pretty damn wicked. Solid metal on that thing too. And of course I got my little tray up here along with my bowl. As you can see, I had already used it, I broke it in. And Sooner or later, I'm actually going to get a new bowl. Uh, I want to get like either one of those vortex bowls, where you know it has the uh, the the center part is actually raised up a little bit, and everything just kind of sits in the bowl. Now, I still know how to take care of it, but you know, breaking a hookah in, you're bound to make a few mistakes. So I kind of burnt it just a little, but you know what? That just shows that I broke it in and didn't break it. The stuff I got with it. I wanted to try some different things, seeing as how I had gotten the uh, original round coals. So I picked up uh, these new Fantasia Airflow air charcoal. Now, these things are kind of interesting, because it comes 45 pieces in the box, which is actually pretty good. And this thing was only about, like, how much, Nya? What? How much was the charcoal? Yeah, six, seven bucks for 45 pieces. And granted, the roundies are like, you know, three or, three or four. But you only get about like 10 or 12 in a pack. Now, the thing with these, these are actually kind of cool. They call them the airflow charcoals because this is actually what they look like. Pretty much they're like, you know, little squares with triangles uh, cut out on the bottom. So what you do is you actually heat up the whole thing you can heat this up on an electric uh, electric stovetop, which I've been doing. So I just let this thing burn. They say to burn these things until the whole charcoal turns white, and then it's ready to use. And, you know, I was reading the directions on the box and everything about, you know, what it does and whatnot. You, got, uh, you won't be able to see it because my camera sucks. But it says no odor, won't roll. No need to ash off, no chemicals, no taste, and no rotating. So you never have to rotate the stupid thing. Um, depending on the size of the bowl, which, you know, that, I should only use one, but it says place two to four pieces around the parameter uh, to promote heat circulation. 
Um, turns out two will actually do it, but you want to be careful because putting them next to each other, it actually burns up the shisha a lot quicker. I actually learned that the hard way. Uh, you want to at least have one on top of it and possibly get yourself one of those, um, you know, wind covers on the top so that way everything stays in the middle and the bowl still stays heated. It does work off of one, but it doesn't give you a whole lot of smoke and a whole lot of pull off it. So putting two, you know, at least one on one side, one on the other, have a little gap in the middle, that actually does work. But, uh... It also helps of the flavors of shisha that I bought, which is the flavored tobacco. Now, for sh everybody out there, if you have not, if you smoke cigarettes, understand that this is a l somewhat a little better. It doesn't have a whole lot of nicotine in it, but it does have a minor amount. But it does not have any tar, as it says on the bottom of the package. It's uh, pretty much, you know, tobacco, honey, veg vegetarian glycerin. It's pretty much like the glycerin or the liquid that you put inside those e-cigarettes, I found out. So, you know, it's only got 0.5 nicotine and zero tar, so you're not, your lungs are getting totally screwed up by the tar, and, you know, you're going to die over time and get, you know, messed up lung cancer or some shit like that. I don't fucking know. Either way, this stuff is fucking great. So, the flavors I got... Uh, Rainbow Burst, which is this one. No, it uh, says a carousel of bright and zesty flavors. Smoke the rainbow. Now, having to smell it, it smells like uh, a fruit roll-up, you know, if you ever grew up having one of those. Now, the really cool thing that I found out that when I got 